Hey, everybody, it's Father Edward, and I just got a box in the mail. I think I know what the box is. So I wanted to open this box and share this with all of you on social media and on YouTube. So the box is from Sophia Institute Press. Many of you might know I have written several books for Sophia Institute Press. So I can only imagine what this box is because I didn't order anything from Sophia that would be coming in a box right now. So here we are opening the box. And it is exactly as I suspected. So this is this is what we call an unboxing. So look, ooh, it's pretty. This is my brand new book for Advent. So I'm gonna put this box down. Many of you might recall last Advent, I did a video series every day, daily live streams, where I reflected on the opening prayer at mass called the Collect. And so this book here is basically those YouTubes. I have, um, I, you know, edited what I said on those and rewrote them and things like that. But this is the fruit of really those live streams. So not only can you go back and watch the video if you so chose, but now in a book form, because this can obviously reach more people uh, than I could through my live streams, through my videos. You know, I only have a set number of followers, but the book through catalogs, through interviews, through all this can really be in the hands of so many people. So Praying with the Church Through Advent, uh, my latest book coming out, it's out, I'm obviously holding it in my hand, but it is uh, available now for order wherever you buy books. Local Catholic bookstores will be carrying it wherever you are, I'm sure. So uh, pick up your copy, Praying with the Church Through Advent. I'll have copies available too, uh, locally for those who might want to acquire them uh, from me directly as well. But uh, yeah, so exciting. It's always exciting. It's like, you know, sometimes authors compare this to like giving birth. Now I'm a man, so I can't give birth, but I can give birth to a little book. And so here it is. You know, uh, I'm just really impressed by the cover. I think this is one of the prettiest covers uh, of any of my books. So uh, really impressive. Uh, very much uh, love it. I, you know, when they sent me the mock-up of the cover, I just was so impressed. And then you'll see this, like, look, so on the pages, they have that scene recurring on the bottom of each page. So open up to a random page. There it is again. So it's the recurring image. So a uh, beautiful book. And uh, I hope you'll like it. I hope you'll pick it up. Uh, maybe I'll just read you the introduction. Catholics have been preparing for special liturgical feast days for centuries. Two principal feast days have built in seasons to help us prepare for them. Advent, which precedes Christmas, and Lent, which precedes Easter. When an individual wishes to consecrate his life to Jesus through Mary by any consecration methods available, St. Louis de Montfort, St. Maximilian Kolbe, Father Gately, etc., they choose a Marian date, and for 33 days they pray and prepare. Sometimes they celebrate the feast days of saints on the calendar by praying a novena, a prayer, or a cycle of prayers that is repeated over nine days before the feast day, and that asks the saint for a special grace. When it comes to Christmas, not only do we have Advent, but also the St. Andrew's novena, prayer that begins on November 30th and is prayed until Christmas. There are numerous Advent devotionals that have been published over the years. My favorite is titled, Come Lord Jesus, Meditations on the Art of Waiting by Mother Mary Frances. If you want to learn more about her, I'd encourage you to check out my book, How They Love Mary, 28 Life-Changing Stories of Devotion to Our Lady, in which I provide her Marian profile. I also enjoyed Advent with Our Lady of Fatima by Donna Marie Cooper O'Boyle, which inspired my Lenten book, A Lenten Journey with Mother Mary. For years, Catholic parishes in the United States 
have provided little blue books for Advent and black books for Lent, originally published by the Diocese of Saginaw by Bishop Ken Utner. As a pastor, I've seen any good number of Advent resources. Yet here I am, offering another contribution to the genre of devotional literature. When we gather for Mass after the penitential rite or the Gloria, that is the final part of the introductory rites, the priest says or chants, let us pray. Let us pray. We often refer to this as the opening prayer, but it is officially called the collect. As an entire congregation has gathered in prayer, the priest collects the prayers and summarizes them in this prayer to God. These collects are written for each Sunday in ordinary time, and typically a saint will have a special one for his memorial or feast. If you know something about the saint, you often can find biographical hints in them. For example, the memorial of St. John Neumann, who served as Bishop of Philadelphia, the phrase brotherly love is in the prayer. The Collect for St. John of the Cross refers to one of his spiritual writings. What is unique about the seasons of Advent and Lent, Christmas and Easter, is that the church offers a special Collect prayer, a prayer over the gifts, a prayer after communion, and prayer over the people. Every day, the prayer is different. I have preached on the prayers and reflected on them at times. This book is a collection of those Collects from the Mass and I offer a reflection on one aspect of the prayer and provide a few reflection questions for you to consider, perhaps using a prayer journal. My aim in writing this Advent meditation book is to make these reflections accessible. A meditation that would be a few pages might be too time consuming for an individual. My hope is that you make a cup of coffee, sit down with this book, pray the collect, reflect on the words, and spend a few moments in quiet prayer, mulling over the question. If it doesn't happen over coffee, this would be a good companion for daily mass. Arrive at mass a little early. The rosary is prayed beforehand. Hopefully there is enough time for your quiet prayer and reflection before mass begins. You can then pray over the collect that will be prayed at that mass, unless it's a required memorial. Or, if you want to allow the fruits of the Mass to linger a bit longer, you can remain in your pew after Mass for a few moments of prayer and reflection, revisiting the, the Collect prayer. I've chosen to admit most celebrations of the saints, even if they are required memorials. Example, St. Ambrose. The proper of saints that I have included in this manuscript includes the two Marian feasts of the Immaculate Conception and Our Lady of Guadalupe. These can be found at the end of the main text, beginning on page 183. My hope as you make your way through this Advent devotional is that you'll better appreciate the text of the Mass, and that on any Sunday or daily Mass that you might attend throughout the year, you will listen more attentively to the opening prayer and reflect upon it yourself. And if you enjoyed this Advent devotional, be sure to look for the sister book for Lent, where I do the same thing, Present the colic, reflect, and encourage meditation. May your Advent be blessed as the church prays on December 24th. May the Lord come quickly and not delay. Now, I had a special request uh, of the publisher when they put together the book. So I, you, you might remember, I just read that there will be a sister book for Lent. And so I asked them if they would put at the back of the book a little advertisement for it. So coming in January 2025, Praying with the Church Through Lent by Father Edward Looney. So we have uh, both the Advent and the Lent books coming out. Advent right now, Lent in January. I hope this book will be part of your Lenten prayer and your, or I hope this book will be part of your Advent prayer and your Advent devotion. Praying with the Church through Advent. Available now from Sophia Institute Press.